What's up guys, this is the Brave Man and I am back to bring you to the next episode, or my next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Italian States. And this will be an hour special. But sadly, we kick off with a probable, probable defeat and the loss of our forces under Giovanni Contarini from a very large Russian assault, including we do have riflemen at long range, lots of good units, our, our quick climbing howitzers will need to do some good work. So let's take him out. If we manage to hold them off, chances are Giovanni's army will have to immediately march south. <laughs> if, if he survives, um, in order to be replenished from Istanbul. And we will need to generate significant numbers of troops to uh, hold off that swarm of men as they march south. So I make no bones about it. I am definitely going to uh, not defend the town. I want to find a nice piece of open, clear ground where I can put out the max amount of firepower. And it looks like I don't really have a great, clear piece of terrain. I mean, I can deploy it up in front of the town there. That's not terrible. So let's deploy some artillery. Deploy some infantry in trenches. Deploy a second set of guns. Deploy one flank company. Deploy another flank company, but they won't get full protection. We've got our howitzers that are going to be firing quick line. We've got our cavalry. I'm sorry, General. You're going to have to join the battle too. Well, that's definitely not good. So, we've got like some of the this units coming in from uh, the extreme left. You can continue your attack here. Really, I need my howitzers to aim at. What well, is it? You need to aim at this reinforcing army over here. You could do some quite good work against that column. Stretch this line out just to maximise my firepower. To be honest, these guys may now be ready to also engage that resupply column or the reinforcing column. I definitely targeted you against these guys. No. Why? I did. I'd like to push these guys off of their position and begin to bring this wing more like this. Artillery's coming in. But as long as we don't. set them too much or do too much damage too quickly I can run some of these hussars in to knock out this unit of guns and maybe kill the general Cavalry into the mix. Where's my hussars? Managing to turn them away. 
holding our position. Seems to be okay when the battle is finally joined. You guys just engage the general bodyguard. I mean, they're not going to be happy that I've hit their artillery, but that's okay. Get my heavy cavalry. Oh, we got charged by some of their cavalry. Okay, let's try getting my hussars out of that mess. Charge my cavalry, my infantry, my cavalry into the militia. Can you guys take them out? Where's my other cavalry? You're up here on this flank. You should win against these grenadier guards, apart from when my howitzers kill you all. my marines up. Good, they've been broken so now this wing can go more like this but my guards want to go intercept this unit of general's bodyguard. Charge my marines in. My hussars are going to get eaten alive. Come on, knock out that general's bodyguard. Let's try to get some good morale wins here. That means pushing these guys up like so. Cavalry now hit the hussars. These guys out of square to go and engage that infantry unit, but it looks like we have turned their flank. Swiss line. Engage them. Marines engage the general's bodyguard. There we go. Let's try to run my cavalry away to join my other heavy cavalry. are engaging appropriate units and you'd like you to hit the SAR guards you guys I'd like to hit switch to round shot and back away at there actually no switch to deploy into square get these marines back to help them out there you go a heavy cavalry together let's bring up my general The Tsar guards are going to start to fall. Got a... <sighs> Push these guys up to engage the Grenadier guards, the horse Grenadier guards at point blank range. You guys out of square. Let's 
pick all three of you units up, march you to form a new line. Actually, let's probably put my... I'll have to do. You guys charge in to beat the regiment of horse. Marines drop into square. You guys also drop into square. Focus on the centre. bring my general into this combat. I don't really want him to, but I don't really have choice. Bring my <clears throat> bring my marines into the regiment of horse. You guys have a good firing position into the flank of the Garda Cheval. You guys need to knock out these grenadiers and so on pretty rapidly. Okay, one of you guys firing quick climb can hit this unit of riflemen, the other can drop round shot onto the artillery. Good, the House of Cavalry is being repulsed. My square has stayed strong. My general can leave the combat, I think, maybe. Six pound horses. The six pound horse is coming pretty close. Send my weakened infantry to go and engage. Oh, horse grenade guards do not like the kicking they just received. These guys may cause my lighter infantry to route so let's push up our battle line to help push the light infantry out of the trees you know, ganging up on that unit of horse grenadier guards Stuff. Let's take the heavy cavalry out. Where's the other heavy cavalry unit? Take you out. General, stay here. Line infantry and marines. So I'm going to send my marines over to try and intercept some of these units. Okay, what I want to do is... Limber up some of these units. And yeah, the rifle suddenly going, oh, but we're winning. And you go, yes, for now. <clears throat> but you can't handle the weight of firepower. Especially as this army's now been destroyed. Something like that. Let's 
too bad. He's pulled his cavalry back. Good. That unit knocked them out, so they can try and escape as well. So these men march. Up and around towards the flank of the woods. They're shattered, they're just broken. Yeah, one infantry great, they just can't put up with the sustained firepower that a uh, line unit can put out. Okay, now it might be time to push it to fall back. Okay, good, we've cleared them out. Let's bring our battle line back. Try and regain some strength and cohesion. Chiefly because I can see this block of good infantry coming in. I don't want to go too far from artillery support. There's another block of cavalry. More cavalry. Yeah, I really can't afford to lose my artillery advantage. So these guys go for... Go for this hand mortar company. Because damn hand mortars are dangerous. And these units can go after the 43rd. Good, are you men? Steer yourselves for the ordeal that's about to show itself. Okay, now you might have to start focusing on the, the battle that's about to reveal itself. You guys are going to have to drop into square because they're going after my cavalry. Or maybe you don't because they've dismounted. you going to push? Cavalry out on the flank. Oh, those hand mortar companies are so dangerous. Shotgunners. You guys are doing okay in trying to chase off the blunderbuss shotgunners. Regiment of Dragoons have fallen. Cavalry unit is broken. Okay, you guys have square, push you up onto the flank of that combat there. You guys pivot and you guys pivot to engage in this separate combat here. Foot guards, you guys aim at the horse guards. 113th Regiment should do some good damage firing into the flanks of this combat here. You could be 
very useful if you could help break that flank company. You hit the Grenadier Guards. Come on, you guys. Reload. Reload. Pour fire into the flank of the 7th. Danger close, quick climb. You guys bayonet charge them because they got too close. You guys help knock out the guard engineer. You guys chase down the footline infantry. Ah, oh, the cavalry came back. Now it's going after my my artillery my main competitive advantage yeah it makes sense I can't really send people to stop them either good we've managed to make, make them follow or bring our Follow our guerrilla troops. Okay, are they still bringing in, still bringing in more men? Yeah, I don't think this is going to be something we can uh, realistically stop. Let's run my general's bodyguard up to try and kill the guerrilla mercenaries. Charged in. Marines drop into square because they're coming after you. Run my infantry in to hit the cavalry as well. Now I better get my general out of that combat. this heavy cavalry straight into them though they'll like that okay finally broken align you guys up against the engineers so if I can take out these engineers and all this infantry starts to be able to march up here and take this position and firing into the flank. firing. Just full strength line infantry units are not something you really want to see. Oh. Came back. At least they go the guerrilla mercenaries. Pushed off the guards. They're still just broken. There's no guarantees here. Soon we're going to start running out of ammunition. These guys already have. Let's charge the U into the Pandor. Pandor, Pandora. There's Pandora, Pandora, Pandora. Okay, 
going to have to risk my general. Charge you guys into them. This is it. Start just attack these East Indian mercenaries. Charles bodyguard, get you out of the way. they're winning. <laughs> They've got so many more men than us in the combat. Oh, damn, they were wavering. If you can break the 104th, that might do it, but I don't think we are going to break them. Forty-two Marines versus two hundred Russians. Oh, comes more skirmish infantry. Oh, so close. We were so close, so many times. I think it was their cavalry skirting around, hitting my artillery that did the uh, finished. That finished it, really. Good. Pandors are shooting into the combat, which is going to weaken their resolve. Send most men along to the 33rd, but I want to send two units into this combat here. Okay, we've lost that combat. The marines are finally routed, so let's run our infantry in to swarm this battle against the 73rd. Then we can try and engulf the uh, the last infantry unit. I know, our units are breaking trying to get into the battle. Sorry, General. You're going to have to suicide yourself for the greater good. For glory! And to stop them from firing volleys into my men. The General has fallen. But this is what has to be done. It had to be done. If they could have fired... You know, volley after volley after volley after volley into these men. It could have been enough. As it is, we're now getting some charges off and pouring men into this combat. Start a route. Come on, let's get our marines in. Our marines and our Swiss line, they're not going to take too kindly to this nonsense. Oh yes, our Marines and Swiss Line are doing some good damage. Come on. 
Fortunately, my men are all eager. Yes, the Russians are shaken. Okay, good. Their morale is at least balanced. You know, shape is now worse than mine. It's kind of bouncing between steady and shaken, wavering. Okay, now it's bouncing between wavering and shaken. My guys are eager and confident. Come on, these marines that are behind the line should be doing some great work. Okay, some of my infantry are still eager. Go on, marines. Kill this guy. They're wavering. Broken! <sighs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Chase them off! Oh my god, yeah, damn right, that was a Pyrrhic victory. We held them off. That was all we could hope to do. Yeah, most of our forces destroyed, but we significantly damaged their advance. But that army needs to retreat fast. Really do not want to uh, have any exposure to a follow-up strike from the Russians there. Oh. Yeah. I was going to say, don't try anything, Sweden. Yeah, that army needs to full back, replenish. Fortunately, we did have an army marching up to towards that front anyway. But it does indicate we need to do a bit more. Right, the Mughals have landed a stack off of the coast of Stockholm, but that's going to be their doom rather than mine. Because we are significantly fortified in Scandinavia. Workers are rioting in Spain. God, if I exempt you from tax. I want to tax you, but if you won't let me. Cool, you march over here just to block Don't those Ottomans from going anywhere. Taken Gibraltar. You can stay here and replenish. You can stay here and replenish. Let's hop up to, actually first of all, let's pick up a sloop to guard Bilbao because that's giving us trade resources before we do construction reports. Tripoli. Uh, church school. Let's do that. Let's get steam engine factory in Tunis. Um, but yes, this army that needs a new general. You guys replenish. We need. Let's get two heavy cavalry and a unit of. Let's get a regiment of horse. Let's get another artillery piece. But instead, let's get another howitzer unit. So that's five units. Okay, let's get another infantry unit quickly, or as quickly as we can get it. We do have this army that can sit in Moldavia. Let's repair the military governor's barracks. That'll give us a bit of freedom. You guys should be able to auto this battle here. Yeah, they're, they're very depleted. Too bad we're going to involve the garrison. There you go, that force replenish. Signore. This force replenish. Upgrade this palatial estate. You guys are a bit depleted but not much. You're good enough to put just put the capital under siege. 
march you guys up to the the western edge of the Carpathian Mountains. Um, okay, I think Rome generally is much, well, it used to be much happier than it was. Siamo pronti. Signore. Okay, let's upgrade some of these infantry buildings. Signore. Or, let's upgrade some of these military buildings. We've got two howitzers. Let's get a third howitzer. Let's get some three twelve pounders. Get some marines. Get some line infantry guards. Probably like to try and get some pikes if I can find them, although. Looks like that might be a bit tricky. Get some warband for skirmishers. Let's start building up another force here. Great, this. You guys. Actually, you can go down to here then. Cancel your recruitment field artillery. And instead, just get infantry. Here comes some Austrian rebels, but that's okay. We should see them off. And we will see them off, although what I'll probably need to do is march. Give this guy, give this army a general. So they're unhappy about it. So you guys march up to Venice instead. To garrison the city. I want to push these guys out to engage the rebels. To prevent them from getting too much stronger. Especially as they're still quite angry with us. Upgrade a couple of buildings. You are. Don't need to convert Istanbul. You march up to. Um, Ayasi. So I've, got, I've got two armies here. Plus, when this guy is up and back up on his feet, that'll be a third army to help defend that front. But I think I need to take this guy. Actually, let's not upgrade that Jesuit college because he's about to raid it. If I exempt you from tax. No, I would like your tax. Um, over here. You repair the force of Trinidad. You are replenishing, but soon you will be... Well, soon I'll be sending you to attack. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Um, I'll be sending this guy to go and attack Paramaribo and Cayenne from the Mughal Empire. Giovanni Contarini got attacked and defeated. That is true. Let's march this army up. Because I need to go intercept this force. Um, I could just let them hit the Sith, hit the garrison, to be honest. It's not a massive... It's not a massive gamble letting them do that, because they've got mortars, true, but they've not got very good infantry, and this army is not far away. Romilia has recruited a bunch of infantry for another army we're building. There we go. Good stuff. You build a sloop to protect your port. You upgrade the mine. Workers of right in Bosnia. But now they're okay. They broke some stuff and now they feel better. Workers on strike in Serbia, but that's okay because they'll soon feel better. could go about mending some of this infrastructure, but I don't think there's much of a point at the moment. Oh no, I could take this force out here to hit Kumar. Let's clear them out, and then that way next turn I can use my other army to chase them down and kill them. I mean, at the moment they're out of movement points, so there's no point in actually 
chasing them down too aggressively. Well, I can't because there are movement points. I may as well let them have a turn to move or see where they retreat to. Obviously, I am fighting through the town. Artillery over on the left. Over on the right, sorry. Send a detachment of infantry to go around the flank. I want to send a block of infantry to go through the centre. My howitzers are going to march up with my right hand flank. And there's going to be cavalry out here as well. Something like that. Oh, the mortars are firing. Oh no, these are mortars that can move. I always forget that. Run our cavalry up on the flank. Let's run the infantry, because we're going to have to crash into the here. We've got cavalry out on the, the left flank, but that's okay. Okay, infantry, let's run it. Our howitzers are going to get into position and then drop round shot onto the mortars. Run into the town. Just to threaten them. Quick lime coming in, so we can't afford to be too lackadaisical. Everyone needs to run up. Can't engage them with quicklime, not really. You guys might deploy into square. up our infantry. Mortars have been routed. To be honest, let's run you guys up there to fill that gap. from when they're engaging. My light, my skirmishes are engaging because I can hear their tiny little bullets going pew 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 pew. Yeah, my cavalry here and my infantry here in square so those Sipahi aren't going to really have too much of a good chance. Deploy my heavies to help defeat the cavalry here. It's dying to retreat, my granddad is taking a bit of a pounding right off the bat. Good stuff, got some mountain troops 
with their funny sounds in the battle line. There you go, quite a big retreat. A lot of their troops are wavering, they're very upset. Come on, 17th, the 17th, reload. Come on, cavalry, get ready to... Uh... Oh no, they can't engage that far. Not even with round shot, it shows how far away they are. The level of char levy are charging at point blank range, where they're going to get a volley for their trouble. So Pahi is still prodding. It says they're winning, but I don't really think that's going to be likely. Let's run our cavalry around the flanks. Push up our line. Look at that for a bunch of routing levy. Kill them all. Yeah, the levy. The other levy is uh, moving around in response. Get these Swiss Mountain Jaegers out on the flank. So many men, my cavalry can't kill them all. But they can have a go. They can have a very good go. 27th is still holding off the Sipahi. Push up. Push up like this. My line inventory still doing good. Artillery still engaging. And yeah, those musketeers aren't going to be around for very much longer. Neither uh, is this Dakili. They're being fired upon from many directions. The mortals would be nice to kill, but I doubt we'll actually get them. So you guys can hit that musketeer. Yeah. It's funny, really. They do spend so much time, rather than attempting to win on the battlefield, chasing down your men that are routing their that are killing their routing troops oh, the elephants have charged in I'm quite sure what the best strategy is there square I suppose I, mean, I suppose it's square but I mean they're elephants Well, 
Yeah, some way light infantry to chase down these guys. May as well get a handful of kills. The elephants have routed. The musketeers are sticking around. Well, no, they aren't. So the last remaining unit is the general's bodyguard. So let's drop artillery onto that fella. Smash my cavalry into the levee, because that seems like that's what they want us to do. Let's push these guys out toward these musketeers. This is what you guys wanted. Go after some of these mortar crews. Ah, ah, there goes the levy. Field artillery is now officially out of range. So let's kill these mortar crewmen. Troops got caught up in the uh, attack on the levee. The cavalry routing, probably from artillery fire. And my general is all the way back here, is now actually in a not too terrible position to chase down some of these mortars because they're quite slow. Charge you into the side of the cavalry. Stop firing. Charge my cavalry into the side of the Kizilbashi. Just to try and do some good damage to them. We definitely want to take care of their mortars. So let's ignore their infantry for the moment and just set my remaining cavalry to kill these mortarmen. Come on. There we go. So that Mughal push into the Baltics has not worked. And obviously they've now rallied in the most annoying direction. Dealt with all these rioting workers and striking workers, they're all fixed. You can't attack that army there. Hungary can stay under siege. You are now waiting in position. You are replenishing. Ready to pop out here. You're replenishing. Everything's recruiting and replenishing and everything's going okay. Right. Verona, don't waste your time with rockets. Go on to machined rifling. Bologna's about to get the last research, the last industrial technology on our list. Our spies and agents are on the move. The Ottomans desire war against us, but they have no real recourse to do it. We will march on to Cairo. You can steal our technology as much as you like, Ottoman Empire. The end is nigh for you, as the shattered remnants are, are uh, reorganising. Well, they're also marching towards us in Transylvania, but that's good. It splits up their forces and we can take them out individually.
Swedish agents are on the move, forever trying to gain our secrets. Yeah, don't worry, Sweden. You're going to have to split your fire. The ships are on the move in the Mediterranean. You are going to march towards there and just be annoying. Although we should be able to um, catch them in one turn because that's nearly where our second army came from. Opportunity to intercept. Yes, let's do it. Let's destroy these Austrian rebels, or at least attempt to do them a serious mischief. That would be quite a nice thing to do. Bring Vienna more under our control. And be ready to use them as a springboard into the back of Swedish possessions. So. Wait, what? What a funky deployment zone. Let's deploy all our infantry in one great line. Skirmishers deploying the woods. Pikes hold back. And we've also got reinforcements from Austria. Just one second, guys. I've got to quickly go check the oven isn't on. It's very unprofessional, but just a second. And we're back in the room. Radio. So. I think we have got the garrison coming up. Kimato's okay, going to drop round shot onto the howitzers. nice of them to seemingly be most concerned about my pikemen. There we go, run those elite units up on the flank. Let's push everyone up into a position where they should be able to open fire. I've got a feeling this is this is bringing in uh, either either from troops from Venice or from Austria. I did not actually check. Run my light infantry up onto the hill. 12th Marines get into a position on the flank, which is, should be fairly simple. Fairly sim simple job to just uh, roll them up. Well, they don't have their militia, they've only lost two men and they're wavering. So they're not going to have. They're not going to have routed for good. Push my count my pikes into the Lambert militia, because they will absolutely melt them. Don't really need to worry about bringing in the reinforcements from the uh, garrison force. Go, then I can just do that. The pikemen will absolutely melt through the Landwehr militia. So my Swiss line can just focus on attacking troops as normal. This general's bodyguard. Ooh. Wheel. Back. Where's my light infantry? There 
Thank you. Push forward. And there goes their troops. Where's my general? To be honest, I should have brought him, brought him up right from the get-go. I'm going to run these guys up past the militia. Go either hit the Freikor or the... something else a bit more valuable. Yeah, we're shooting down their cavalry out of the saddle. Let's halt our artillery fire because it's just not necessary anymore. Yeah, we're going to continue. Why not? Well, you kind of do, you definitely want to continue, just because, uh... You don't want the rebels to... Well, you want the rebels to be as weak as possible on the campaign map. I mean, granted, we're not going to get to kill them all, because our force is so small, but we are going to be able to do a good amount of damage to make it a bit of a steamroller when things happen. Catholic missionary in Morocco. Well, you can go on a long walk to Yerevan. Any raid in Malmo? Yeah, we know that. Don't push in, because otherwise you'll just run out of movement points again. You guys replenish. Let's fix the pleasure gardens. Port located, port of pay. Yeah, I'm not worried about port of pay. Keep upgrading this region while we replenish. Keep upgrading our religious buildings. So you've got this chat marching towards Klausenberg. Who has got a lot of troops in reinforce in a, a lot of troops placed to uh, reinforce him. So we reach the complete units, we do. Let's pull the 105 strong unit out of here. And let's deploy in unit 225. That'll be more than enough to take on these guys, because these guys are some of the shattered remnants of the Battle of the Iasi. Still, these chaps are still replenishing, but they're soon going to gather their strength. Take advance. That's mass production. At Bologna. So Bologna instead work on... The shrapnel shot will be useful, because it's quite a good long-range shot. Got all of our philosophical technologies, we've got all of our industrial technologies, so now it's just military. Agent detected. That's near Malmo. A lot of troops being recruited in Morocco. Let's march you over, not over to Gibraltar. You already have Gibraltar. Altro. The web is closing on this Ottoman army. Because what I would definitely like is for these armies to then land, start to land near uh, in the Ottoman heartland. So can Ernesto Defendi, can you march out there? You can, and they'll be happy about it. In which case, then you march along the coast road, because we're not in a rush to take the territory. So we're due to a good old trading company. You're going to march up to the Venice garrison. 
upgrade the governor's palace, upgrade the Jesuit college. You guys can replenish some more. Let's march these guys up to go take out the rebels to then make Vienna a happier place. But, and I'm not going to auto-resolve it because I don't want this garrison to get involved. I'm going to have to fight it with these guys. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys. Hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you next time for uh, likely the defeat of these rebels and the assault on to Hungary. Cheers everyone.